What's going on Nakamas? It's your boy Mosey here, back with another episode of Mosey Reacts. On this episode of Mosey Reacts, I have episode 368 of One Piece. But before I get into today's episode, there was a question that I wanted to address. And the question comes from Aftab Ahmed, who asks, Wait, I have a doubt. In every video introduction, Mosey shows the cover pages of the arc, which has spoilers. Does he not realize that? And to the first part of your comment, the whole I have my doubts, you're not the first person to doubt whether or not my reactions are real or not. And I don't know how I feel about that sentiment, if I should be offended by it or take it as like a compliment. Because on one side, you're saying that my reactions are disingenuous and that I'm faking them, so I should be offended by that. But on the other hand, if, if that is the case, that means I've convinced thousands of other people otherwise. And so that means I'm a great fucking actor and should probably go into acting to win an Oscar. So... I don't know how I feel about that compliment, but or statement, but regardless, naturally, these are legitimate reactions. I have not seen One Piece. And to answer your question on, do I realize that the cover or, or cover pages have spoilers? Yes, I've been told that. But naturally, I'm not looking at them when I'm using them or saving them. Um, now, don't get it twisted. I have eyes. I have peripheral vision. So I do kind of get, I guess... A glance at them so like for example this current cover art i know that it's gold and that there's a giant blob of blue on the cover do i know who the blob is what the blob looks like or anything else no but naturally i'm a smart man i feel like in that i'm guessing the giant blob of blue is probably ores because what else could it fucking possibly be naturally i didn't think about that until you made your comment but that's neither here nor there but generally speaking i don't look at the cover arts i can just click save and then maybe get a peripheral but i'm not like mm, let me see what's going on over i don't want to do that i don't want to spoil myself i'm just saving them adding them into my videos so that you guys know like hey this is where we're where we're at in the stories versus the manga that's all i'm doing um but with that being said though let's go ahead and we'll ride into today's episode reminder though this is not a market substitute you should always support the official release hmm why nami I still love that they have a little sharing gun doesn't use buttons. この私がお宝を <laughs> Nami, they're just little squirrels. There's no need to go that hard on them. <笑><笑> Would you rather them not made a... Good God! <laughs> I I know how I said, hey, you guys probably shouldn't take a break and keep going, but now I kind of am thinking, let's not give them a break. Dang! Looks like you guys may have just knocked him loose. <laughs> 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 
キングに協力してたら絶対成功してただから二度とこのバカ野郎どもロビンちゃんがあんなみっともねえまでするわけねえだろあんな Right, Sanji would never touch a woman. <laughs> What does Chopper add to this form? I just need to know. Okay. They gonna get him pumped up to where he wants to hit them, and then they jump off, and he hits himself in the head. <laughs> Only Luffy would fall for something like that. <laughs> right, I feel like that was our best bet. Ors hitting himself is probably the strongest hit we're going to get in, but. どうやら、あいつから完全にルフィの記憶が消えたってわけでもねえみてえだぜ。でも、俺たちのこと知らねえって言ってたし、自分でモリアの下辺だって。だがよ。人として恥ずかしいわ。やらねえのか。特権が。
I don't know the word. <laughs> How are you gonna be her Nami? Because I feel like you do have some negative feelings that can be brought out. So. Always love me a good cat fight. That they would. <laughs> I'm gonna pause it right here for a second because so many people commented like, Mosey, that's that's the warlord, that's cool. I just want to know how many of you guys actually knew who he was when this scene came about because the first time we saw him was literally 210 episodes ago and he was in the background for the, the whole entire scene and you guys are telling me that when he got brought back up 210 episodes later you guys knew immediately that's the warlord i'm curious because i thought me forgetting who it was is kind of understandable and probably meant to happen but it seemed like the comment section, it was kind of like, bro, how did you not, how did you not remember that guy? So I, I'm curious, answer, answer honestly, the very first time you watched this around, did you know that that guy was in fact the guy you saw 200 episodes ago? Or did you think, who is this guy? What the fuck is going on? But let's get back into it. All oh, those bunnies? You made the bunnies disappear? God damn, he's big. That's what she said. I love your name. Uh, he even has a glow about him. Right, like which side do you say? Do you say you're still part of the Warlord subordinate or do you say I'm not part of that? Like, ah. <laughs> You're dead. Yep. Is that part of his power that made her do that? Uh, <laughs> he's gonna read scripture to you. You need to run, ma'am. Panda. <laughs> okay, so he obviously the gloves, him touching stuff means him, that's why he has gloves. He opened up his book and it looked like he read something maybe? Uh, and he asked her where she wanted to go. And they said he was the cruelest pirate, right? Is that what they said? Dude, what is that aura around you? Oh. <laughs> I'm so scared! 
What do you want with Ace, man? No. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Big trouble. I, I am so unsettled right now. Did he though? Alright, well that was it for episode 368 of One Piece. And where do I even start? <laughs> oh my god, we are so fucked right now. Right now, what? Ors, we've knocked him down twice. It doesn't seem like we're really doing that much damage to him. And now we have another war. So we have Ors. M Moria, which we haven't even laid a hand on. His shadow. Now another. We have. There's. Fuck. And I'm sorry, Bartholomew Kuma, which isn't Bartholomew a first name, so I'm really confused. I really want to call him Bartholomew versus Kuma, but whatever, because I love the name Bartholomew, but that's here nor there. Um, his. Uh, that's. He's so scary because. It, if I read that correctly, uh, uh, Perona said that he was the epitome of a cruelty pirate. So he's worse than Wapo. He's worse than Arlong. And Grand, while he was a Marine, he's still probably going to be worse than Spandik. And this guy's after either Luffy or Ace. I don't like that. Not one bit. I'm very concerned right now. How are they going to get out of this arc? If he... Uh, I don't... Mm-hmm. I do appreciate you guys sticking around watching this reaction. It's been real. It's been crazy. It's been real crazy later on.